Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fun looking puzzle in front of us. Uh, it's called All We Do Is Drive. I'm not really sure the title, how that correlates here, but I might just be missing something. Anyway, it's by Katie Splendor. We've done a few puzzles by Katie Splendor. They're always fun. Uh, so let's jump into this one. Let's see what the rules are and let's get, go from there. So we have normal Sudoku. So every row, column, and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each. We have 405 lines. A gray line is either a Dutch whisper where neighboring digits differ by at least four or a German whisper by or neighboring digits differ by at least five. Oh, 405 lines. I get it now. 405. Eight, four or five. Got it. Um, lines that are solid are one whisper type. So that's these guys here. So these will be one of the two, either German Whisper or Dutch Whisper. And then the hollow lines are the other Whisper type, which is which will be determined by the solver. So the hollow lines are these guys, and they will be the other type. Now, of course, if it's a German Whisper, whatever this did it is, this one will be five away from it. If it's a Dutch Whisper, whatever this one is, this one has to at least be four away from it. Then we have... XVs and ratio crop keys go. So XV sums, digit separate by V sum to five, digit separate by X sum to 10. These will add 10, these will add to five. There's no negative constraint. Then we have the ratio crop key, which just means black crop keys. So digit separate by black dot have a two to one ratio or one is double the other. So these guys here will fit that bill. And again, no negative constraints. So with all that said, Let's just jump in this one. Have a little bit of fun. Links in the description below, as always. All right, so where the heck do we start? I'm going to start with my Vs and my crop keys. I'm just going to put this stuff in. These have to be from the 1, 2, 4, 8. This is never 1, 8, and there's always a 2 and a, two and a 4 on this guy. Uh, I don't think we can say much about this guy. Um, can we say anything about this, though? Yeah, this can never be a 4, because it doesn't matter if this is a German Whisper or a Dutch Whisper. If this is a 4, this is a 6. They're only different by 2. So if that's not a 4, this is not a 1, and this can't be a 4 either, which means this can't be a 1. Uh, I don't think we have... We don't have the same restriction on that as this guy does. Um, like, okay, I guess we can do some coloring in terms of high and low here. Let's do that, and let's see what comes out of it. Because the reason why I say that is, like, what are these guys? Well, no matter what, this has to be a high digit. We obviously can't put a 5, so uh, we have to keep in mind on a Dutch Whisper, you can put a 5, so there could be a transition from high to low, where you can stay high low to medium, i.e. 5, to high again. But, of course, the X there precludes that from being the case. Um, these will be one high, one low. So will those. This will be high. If this is high, and this can't be 5, so it has to switch down to a low. That's kind of interesting, because it does actually reduce what this could be. This can no longer be the 8 or a 6, so this actually can't be a 3. Because we can't put a 6 here. Now, if that's not a 3, neither of these is a 2. You can only be 6, 7, or 9. Again, not sure if that helps. This is from 1, 2, or 4. Mm, don't know there. I guess this has to also be high. Again, it doesn't matter if it's a German Whisper or a Dutch Whisper, because this can't be a 5, because you then have to put two ones here, because these are both low. So this is a high digit. This is a high digit, because we have the X clue. Should probably just mark these so that they're there and in my brain that it's one high, one low. And then maybe there's some way we can determine. There is, actually. Glad I did that. These are two different polarities. 
Well, let's think about how that would work. If this was German Whisper, this, whether it be low or high, this will be the same. Well, this would be the same too. And that can't happen. So these are the Dutch Whispers, and there is some transition of a 5 in here. Okay, so these solid ones are the German Whispers. So we can now just go in and plop down highs and lows. High, low, and this is high. Whether or not the coloring in the highs and lows makes any difference, I don't know. But that's what we're doing. I guess we can also say that these are both high, because even though this is a Dutch whisper, we can't ever put a low in any of those, because 2 and 4 are not compatible with such things. This is 6 or 8. I guess you probably can't hear that. Somebody's running a chainsaw outside. So the same thing's going to occur here. There has to be a transition with a 5 over here somewhere. Um, let's think about these options, maybe. Because this, it could be 1, it could be 2, it could be 4, it could be 6, and it could be 8. Again, if it's a 2, it could be 1 or 4. If it's a 4, it could be 2 or 8. And if it's a 3, it could be a 6. I don't really like that. 2. Yeah, we can actually figure this one out. Could this ever be a 4? Well, the answer is no. Now, if you took it by itself, yes, it could be, because it's a Dutch whisper, so these could be an 8-9 pair. But if this is a 4, one of these also has to be an 8. That can't work. This is a 2, which means this is a 1, 2, 4 grouping. Get rid of that stuff. This is a 1, 4 pair. This is a 3, 2, 3, not 2, 7, 8, 9. Perfect. Um, this can't be a 4 anymore, because this can't be a 9. So this is the 1. 1. This has to be 2 or 3. This has to be 7 or 8. The 2 is actually going to remove options here, so let's go back through those. Or do we think... Well, there's a 5 up here. I guess that doesn't really help. I mean, we'll know that all of these could be 5s, but... There doesn't seem to be any... Well, I guess it does mean there's no transition on this guy. So maybe we do need to figure out what you're doing. You can't be a 1. So there's that. <clears throat> now, what can these be? If it's a 4, this is an 8. If it's an 8, this is a 4. If it's a 6, this is a 3. Do any of those options cause a problem? If it's a 4, we said this is 8. Which means this would have to be a 9. That don't work. Okay. We have to look all the way over here to figure that out, though. If this is a 4, this has to be the 8, because we can't go down to the 2. So we have a 4-8 here. Well, this is on a Dutch Whisper. And it's a 4. The only two digits that work on a Dutch Whisper with a 4 are 8 and 9. The 8's already used. This would have to be a 9, but it's on an X, so this would have to be a 1. This is a 1-4 pair in that case, and that's broken. This is not 4. So this is a high digit. It means that's not a 2, by the way, which means you are not 3. Uh, this is then a low digit. Now, if this is 6 or 8, this has to be the low digit. Because even though it's on a Dutch Whisper, we can't, uh, can't go high on this one. So if it's a 6, it could be 1 or 2. If it's an 8, it could go up to a 4. Now, I think that's still possible. No, it's not. Because, if, again, if you put an 8 here... No, you could still, this could be a 4 and these could be, but if this was a 4, we go, look at from the back side, if this is a 4, this has to be an 8, but then this also has to be a 4, so you're not a 4. 
what are you? 987. And because there's no transition because of the five, this has to go back up high. But it could be six, seven, eight, or nine. Okay. What about you? You can't be a two. So this is a three or a four. So this is an eight, nine pair. This can't be a four. So it's three, two, three, two. That forces the six and the three. Okay. Probably easier to have looked at it from up here first instead of going through all this, but we get to the same place at the end of the day. That's a six. This can't be a three. And the three says it can't be a three anyway. These are sevens, eights, and nines. So these are one, two, four, and five. Or not two. Does that tell us anything about this guy? You're six or nine. Let's think about you for a second, because what options can we put here? It could be a nine, one. Wait, this can't be a seven, by the way. This is a seven by the way. Um, let's go back to our thought here. This could be a 9-1 or a 6-4. Yeah, each one is possible there. Um, you have to be 6-7 or 9. Can't be 6 because of that, so 7 or 9. 6-7-9. Nine, oh, actually, where does the 7 go? It just goes here. Okay, these are from five, six, and nine. I don't think that does too much for us just yet. Oh, the two, just look at this guy. Duh, one, nine, eight. So these are a two, four, five. That is going to tell us what this is because this can no longer be that six, four. It is the one, nine. And we don't have anything looking at it, but this is a six. Now we can say this is a five, nine pair. And these have to be what? Can't be 9, 1, can't be 8, 2, can't be 7, 3. They are a 6, 4, which means you are the 1 and the 4. We can add some color if we so desire. All right, let's start thinking about these guys now. We said there has to be a transition in both of these because we have to go from one polarity and switch over to the next. Now, where would you put that? Obviously, that transition is a five. Well, you can't put a five next to a four or a six. So this is the five. These are a one, nine pair. If that's the five, this is the five. And this is just a given eight now. So let's put that in. Doesn't quite look down. What about over here? I think one of, yeah, one of these two has to be the five because you can't put a five here anymore. Or you we never actually you never could really, uh, but you also have a one. So if you put a five here, this is a one nine parent breaks. So one of these two is a five, and it can't be that one. So you're the five. The five will pair with the one and the nine. So this has to be the nine because the one is staring at it. So one nine. Get rid of you guys. That forces this to be the one and the nine and the five and the nine. Continue our coloring. We probably don't have to do any of this coloring anymore, but I've already started, so I'm going to stick with it. Okay. Let's think about you. You are an eight. We got waylaid for a second, but we're back. This is two or three. You are a seven, so you are a two. Okay. Now, oh, it's go back to you this is the four and the six it's just the way that could all work get you going in the right direction still don't know what you guys are just yet you are a four though as i just saw so we'll put you in all right do we have anything like here we need what do we need on this guy now we might just be into sudoku at this stage so we've got oh actually the eight Let's put the nine in, then we'll go back here. We need a two, four, and a seven. Mm. No, not two, four, and seven. Four, six, and seven. Okay, we can do something. This is the seven. These are a four, six 
air. I don't think anything looks at it, but this is the high. Can we do anything here? These have to be low, so this is a four, because we can't use the five again. Okay, now let's think about these three. Six, seven, eight, this is the eight. This is the seven, this is the six. These are all high digits, by the way. So that six says four and six. Let's get going again. And maybe we need to look vertically now because we need four, five, and seven. This is the seven. This is a four, five pair. Let's go over here maybe. We need a two, which goes up here. We need a one and a three. This is the three. So these are low. This is a one, five pair. Took a second to get the brain to function. These are one and eight. Not quite yet. What are you guys? Four and six, it looks like. All right, we got to get something else working in here then. Let's try one of these guys. We've got... Oh, we need a seven on here somewhere, and it can't go here or here, so it goes here, which means this is a two. What are these last two, though? Three and eight. We can do that. Eight, three. Doesn't correlate, but color. What about you three now? Three, five, and six. This is the three. This is the five and the six. What are you two? Actually, what are just you first? Four, I think it is, yeah. Four, five, four. Put both of those as being low. Now let's go to you two, six and nine. We can do it, six, nine. Perfect. Uh, let's cut across the board here. We need one, five, and eight. This can't be the five, so you are, which means you're two and five. You are one or eight. Continue. All right, let's go back up this way then. What about you three? We need a two. It has to go here. We need a four. It has to go here. And we need a six. It has to go here. The four tells us six and four and five and six and one and five. Thank you. While we go, we'll just keep cleaning up. And let's go over to here. We need a one and a nine, so we can do that. One, nine, these are three and eight, so eight and three. Three, you have, well, you're the one, eight and one. Let's do our coloring first, then we'll finish the puzzle. Lows, highs, you will both be high. There we go. Now you are the eight. You are the seven. There we go. Solve the puzzle. Solution is correct. That's only 500 something solves. That's interesting. Um, especially since it's been out for about a month almost now. Didn't realize I've had it sitting back here for a little ways. I didn't realize it was that old. I mean, it's not really that old, but interesting. Doesn't have a ton of solves, but fun puzzle. I really enjoyed it. Good um, way of making us determine which one is which. Um, good logic to do it in terms of the transition that had to occur because of this 10 clue. So really fun puzzle. I hope you all enjoyed that one as much as I did. And uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, donate, buy some merch. Just say hey, whatever. Anything works. Well, I appreciate everything. So see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.